Well, the creative mind is always alert and ready to create a meaning out of the ordinary. Technically, the creative mind will always go out there to make connections where it is unexpected. And that is what many would consider as the millionaire mind. So today, we have a chance to get to meet such brains that have turned the world of art into something else that is extremely incredible. And not just incredible because of the, uh, of course, a fact that it's driven by emotions, but equally something that is driven by the fact that they need to create a business out of it and earn a living out of it. We are meeting Wilson and Edward, a family by the way set up, so it's quite an interesting show outlined for you right here on The Billionaire's Mind with me, Linda Alela. So let's get to join them. Shambo, thank you. Good. Asante sana, Asante sana. My name is Wilson Morata. I'm a contemporary self-taught artist. My father taught me everything that I know. The rest I just learn as I move around. Uh, I've been I've been teaching kids each and every Saturday from January. I have an art class uh, at Mudore. We have a studio on your way to Kikuyu. I'm 21 years old. I'm doing art for life, and that's a way of life. It's a business and. We need to we need to learn as we grow. We are on already. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we are on and I am just caught in this piece of art. Uh, looking around, it's probably the most different one uh, from the rest. And I kept on asking myself the very first time of course I got here, it, it, it caught my eyes or it caught my eyes. And I was like, it's not an animal, it's not what, it's, it's, it, it sounds familiar, but equally not so familiar. It sounds common, but equally not so common. So I'd love to just understand what about this, or what is this? Just this, explain this to me. This us. is a masterpiece. This is a masterpiece. So I was walking in the woods mm -hmm. when I found this log of wood. So it's a log, it's, mm -hmm. it's a log, yeah. Okay. It's a log of wood. So I went home with it. Mm. Uh, but before I reached home, there are some people who saw it and told me they want it so that they can light firewood with it. So, wakawashe jiko, because I saw something different in it. Right. So, when I looked at it, I saw a home, mm -hmm. a, an, an a abandoned home. Mm. Uh, so, I went home, I gave it color. Wow. So, I nailed it to the to the base. So, so it what can is it? It's, it's pretty much heavy. It's the no, log it's or the, light, the base? It's light. Some, some trees are very heavy. Oh, really? This piece. Okay. Some trees are very heavy. So mm -hmm. I applied color on it and mm -hmm. then it just came out. Right. So when you look, you see some places are high, so others are low. Mm -hmm. So, but you'll walk around on earth, but you'll never find something like this. All right. Suddenly this. you walk around the earth, you'll probably never find something like this. And it's time for business niche. Now that I was cut away, I was trying to just admire this piece of work. And Wilson, of course, we continue with you. Uh, mm -hmm. Just trying to understand, okay, well, first of all, with the business mind, mind I'm just thinking, if you were to give this, kuni, maybe you may be how much? Price. Kuni, kama ingikuwa kuni. Ingikuwa kuni. Ia tu unapeana. Unapeana tafu. Eh, jumtu wa tashanga, uh, kuni na niuzi ya pana. Ebu tu ipatia price, sahi, so when price, it's such a masterpiece. Maybe 300,000 for, if I was to give it away. Mm. 300. That's... Typically, of what we're talking about on the millionaire's mind, just having that different mind, making a different look on the ordinary, the pricing is totally different. For the very same thing that could go for a free, you know, that could go for free, yeah. technically can go for about 300,000. That aside, it's pretty heavy, like I told you. Let me just put it aside with care so that we don't break it. So, Wilson, yes. what made you realize that you have this talent in you? Uh, when I was born, mm -hmm. I found brushes. So... I was playing with brushes till now I've never stopped. Uh, it's a gift I received from my father mm. and I'm very proud. So I make him happy mm -hmm. through what I do. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I struggle through it and then I, that's where I find my peace. It's my own world mm -hmm. where I find peace. All right. Uh, uh, so aside from peace is this way you is it also a source of money, a source of livelihood? In yes. Life? Yes, it's a place I can earn mm -hmm. uh, through employment, a lot of challenges, right. but being your own employer, mm. you get to know more, you get to learn, you get to teach, so the mind grows, the mind mm. grows. Typically, what you want to say, what you want to say, everything. Alright, so what is this, you only squarely just do this or connect to you and you do? 
Uh, apart from painting, uh, I'm a member of Masafa Arts Production. Okay. So we do Kikuyu shows, mm -hmm. Kikuyu comedy shows at Kikuyu Country Club uh, monthly, each and every month. I'm their stage designer. Mm -hmm. uh, I also uh, I'm also in the sound. Mm -hmm. So when they are playing, uh, they are acting in the show. Um, working with the sound mm -hmm. someone would tell you you know business is crazy especially trying to juggle around and you're doing something else and you're equally doing your business and this is not just business uh -huh. but something that requires your emotions your mind your time and everything so how do you get to balance that uh when i wake up i try to do a piece mostly weekly weekly oh. i can do a piece or okay. even more mm -hmm. but works with the mood so how many weeks are we talking about here uh Maybe even years. Wow. Maybe even years because uh, it takes like one hour to produce such a piece mm. uh, because it needs patience yeah, yeah. and then you uh, give it allowance for time mm. so that the paint can dry. Mm -hmm. So it takes it takes it takes some time. Doesn't so it uh, sometimes drain you to imagine that you can have such a beautiful piece, and it probably takes forever on uh, you know sort of in the workshop before uh, you know someone can come and get to appreciate it and say that they would want to buy it. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Oh, so you know very well that this is a masterpiece that you'll keep for ages and you worry not about it because you know eventually there's someone who's going to like it. Yes. And sell sometimes, it. Sometimes I finish a piece and then look at it and uh, that's not you, mine. Oh, that's not mine. It's, it's, it's beautiful. It's just mind-blowing. Mm -hmm. I look at it and then say, no, I, I didn't do that. If I were to tell you that, uh, okay, maybe this one you have so much mm -hmm. affection of aid or you sort of feel like you are, you, it, has, it tells you a story and you just want to have it there for the rest of time. If I tell you that I want the same one, would you get me the same one or? Uh, I'll do a different piece for you. Oh. Uh, I don't like repeating works. Okay. Because repeating makes you, you don't grow. Mm -hmm. So you, you're just at the sta same stair. Okay. So you're not climbing. Mm -hmm. So I try to venture, try out new things, mm -hmm. new things each and every day. Mm -hmm. So if I'll do a piece for you, mm -hmm. it will be totally different. Maybe the similarity will be just this little. Mm. Yeah. We're talking about a millionaire's mind. Very many people doing art out there. Very many artists, artists out there. Do you suppose that that aspect of you doing it different every other time is what makes you different again from the rest of the people who are doing art? Yes. Because uh, what I've done today, I'll not do it tomorrow. Okay. That is to go away about. Mm -hmm. So tomorrow I'll learn something, an inch, mm -hmm. I'll grow mm -hmm. an inch. So each and every day, I'm craving for more knowledge. Right. Each and every day, I'm craving for knowledge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, that's great. Uh, let's just discuss the pieces briefly. Uh -huh. I can see there's one that is canvas-ish. Canvas yeah, right? Canvas. And I can see one that is engraved in wood. Uh, what makes the difference in all this? Uh, so there are different types of arts. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's wide. It's right. wide because there are photographers, there are sculptures. But I wanted to have something different from painting. Right. You know, you, you go somewhere and then it's like your mind is limited to mm -hmm. color. So I wanted to try out new things. So this is what I tried. Colors with right. uh, bottle tops. You drink soda, where do you keep the any? Unless you have a shindana, you have a shindana. Wow. Uh, so I collected them. I can't imagine. Like you don't look at you, you're past that age. Eh? Yeah, I'm too young mm -hmm. and then I've lost it. So okay. this is the second one. Mm -hmm. The first one is a guitar. Okay. So my a guitar. I produced this one to have something different, trying out something different. Mm -hmm. I did an elephant. So I'll continue bringing out new things to the eye, mm -hmm. things appealing to the eye crazy things so stay tuned wow stay yeah, tuned for stay sure tuned. so uh in, and uh, i would want to imagine then that you're telling us there's uh -huh. a lot of opportunity and resources that are offered by art can you just try and expound more like honestly what about art that is so different from any other thing uh the art carries a feel mm. more like music so when you look at a piece you you'll want to know like you've never been to lamb yeah yeah this is lamb. Oh, okay. So this is a street in lamb. Mm -hmm. uh, Utapotea. True. Utapotea. Oh. Ukienda utaona nimekuwa hapo. Okay. 
to different places others uh, some of us are not that privileged to traveling mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so we we'll don't to go somewhere try out new things that's how we work so so technically you'd say you pick some of these uh, pictures from what you see yeah. from emotions from what you've experienced or something of the sort or you probably would need to get a picture from somewhere say a, a picture book and then you try and draw the very same thing uh research mm-hmm. mostly i do research mm-hmm. Uh, for inspiration, maybe if I'm walking around, things I see, uh, people I see, kids playing, mm-hmm. things around the community, that's what builds my mind to creating mm. something. All right, too much yeah. of that. Uh, we're talking about business. And business. Uh, you know, when you're talking business, you need visibility. Uh-huh. You need your product to be known out there. So what are some of the tricks or what are some of the things that you, impl- you, you, you bring aboard or you work through towards ensuring that there's visibility for your products well uh, apart from the workshop probably where you work from we've come here and everything so how do you get to have people knowing your products people nowadays sort of focus much on social media are you so much active on social media or there's a way that you get to have your clients coming to the shop so social media is my main gallery mm-hmm. uh, social media is my main gallery oh, that's amazing okay. so everything i do i put it out there mm-hmm. for anybody to see for anybody inspiration mm-hmm. It's out there in the social media mm-hmm. and a lot of competitions. There are a lot of competitions out there. So mm-hmm. I just venture to where I can find competitions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe I enter. Some people even are searching for me in competitions, but I can't afford to pay for that entry okay. fee. Okay. But you get to see they want what you have. Mm-hmm. So I give them what I have. Oh, really? Yeah. So that's so much hope that at least what you're doing is a good thing. When you talk about these platforms, you know, uh, are there times when you sit around with other artists and, you know, just create a platform, a ground, maybe uh, have exhibitions for your pieces? Uh, a platform, maybe the platform that there mm-hmm. is is Masafa Arts, where I work. Okay. Uh, recently, Wapi returned. Wapi is a is a great f- platform for artists mm-hmm. because we get to mingle, mix, and then ideas pop up. Mm. But if the government was to was to was to venture into art, right, they'll be like have a day for artists, a whole day. We parade the streets mm-hmm. with your five paintings or two just for sale people come around and then buy art that mm. will be an awesome thing for the government to do for us mm. speaking because of which do you feel like you get so much support from the government the society in just appreciating art and maybe the, the skills and everything that people do uh art mm-hmm. art for the government i don't think so mm. i don't think so because mm. because uh if there are many competitions it's only Manjano, if mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. if I remember, and the affordable, which comes in December, so more like two shows in in a year. Right. So if there will be like even like three months a show, three mm-hmm. months a show, it will be that great will be. for an artist mm-hmm. because artists in Kenya are very many, more mm-hmm. than two thousand, even more, mm-hmm. even more. Yeah. So the one knowns they should they should they should agree that they should come to a to a point that they see artists are growing. So they are. Some young, I imagine, uh, rest are going mm. moving on. You look at that, so you'd probably feel as though maybe, uh, what is the essence of doing this after all? Yeah. There's no one who's appreciating. So what keeps you going? What is that that driving force that tells you it's okay? Let me just have this art someday. It's going to bring me money because when you officially move from that point to wherever it's all about, you know, just putting your emotions on canvas and everything, then it becomes something to do with making money. Then it certainly has to sort of give you that push every other day so if it is not uh, selling on a daily basis if it's not telli- selling as much as you want it to mm-hmm. then there has to be that other thing that is a driving force what could that be uh my dad told me art is frustrating art oh. is very 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 frustrating. but he still wants you to do that right <laughs> he told me that yeah. like when you're getting into every it. day when i wake up he tells me art is not easy but i've grown with it mm. yeah uh na he taught me never mm-hmm. to give up so giving up is not an option for mm-hmm. me so mm-hmm. i know that i have to move on so even when a child starts crawling mm-hmm. eventually the child works mm-hmm. eventually the child works mm-hmm. then he runs and then 
that's how I move. Wow. Yeah, I have to keep moving on. You I have, have to, to keep, keep moving. Yeah. Live. Wow, that's good. In my profession, I'll tell you that um, we, uh, journalism, sometimes mm -hmm. you produce some programs, you produce content, and you always told, you know, what copyright issues and all that, ensure that you protect your, uh, your, 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 your whatever, your, your programs and everything and your work. So, in your own case, uh, what is your key thing of protection of basically what you do in as much as you say that you know you always do that one time thing <laughs> and that's just it so i can only see that you have wilson murada so wilson murada i can always get something and just like write wilson murada and you know, just probably take that piece scrap it off and write a different name so why is it that yours is not as technical as uh, that of other artists that i see the signature so i found a style i decided to come up with a style that if I create a piece, it's the only piece. Mm -hmm. Even myself, I can't redo the piece. Okay. If I were to redo the piece, okay. it's another piece. Right. So the two pieces are not similar. Mm -hmm. So that's my signature. That's your signature. Yeah. Uniqueness and the fact that yeah, this is just it. The only one that exists in the world. Yeah. All right. So you have to separate yourself in order to stand out. Mm -hmm. So similarity is not good. Yeah, I want to stand out. Mm -hmm. Be the odd one out. That will make me different. Mm -hmm. It will create uh, attention. All right. Yeah. Before we go to your best piece, because I'm sure there's always that one that <laughs> captures your mind, that speaks your story, <laughs> that you'd want people to know about, yeah. Yeah. What that one that you'd not want to let go, even when someone comes with millions and millions of money, yeah. yeah. Uh, do you name them? Cause yes, they have. Generally, names. they'd say, "Oh, you'll have this one. This one has a name. This one has a name." So you name your pieces. The work ha has to have the title okay. because the title makes you see, okay. opens your eyes, so that. You get to find the key details in the picture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So randomly, tell us one uh, the uh, one name of any of them. So this one is called thoughtful. Uh, thoughtful. I found the the woman in I found the woman in the market. So oh. she was deep in thought. So wow. I captured her and then ran home, did the piece and then. Mm. Oh, so she's yeah. deep in the, that's, that's that's typically yeah, what we see. Deep in thought. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. And a couple of others with different names. This yeah. one with the bottle top is called. Elegant elephant. Elegant, the one that we had earlier. Yeah, elegant one, elephant. Okay. Elegant elephant. So uh -huh. there's this one too. The abandoned home. Some oh people wow. say it looks like a skyscraper. Ah, that one, yes, okay. Yeah. It sort of makes sense. Okay. Woodwork. I collected these two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a collectible. So you have to write them the, the names down or what? I you have just to have keep them. Record. You memorize them. So when I give it the name, I, I, I have to record it. The name comes right before you it do the piece. Can't. So when I collected it, it had the name already. Ah, oh, so okay. So you're just looking at it and thinking, okay, well, uh, I've had it at home. Looking at it, wow, it has a name. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Okay, your favorite piece. My favorite piece. Yes. Uh, we need to know your it's, favorite. It's huge. It's somewhere around here. It's it, huge. It's huge. It's just. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, so let's get it. Oh, it's the guitar, the bottle top that we were talking about. Bottle tops. Are you Fanta. a musician or something? No. I was, I was, uh, I, I wanted to learn music, so my teacher we were so distant, and then I didn't have a guitar for practice. Okay. So I said I'll make a guitar mm -hmm. to buy a guitar, but when I finished making mm -hmm. the guitar, uh, I fell in love with it. The bottle tops Coca Cola Fanta, so it's called Thirst for Music. Mm -hmm. It has all the drinks, oh. beer. <laughs> <laughs> it has beer, <laughs> soda. Mm -hmm has a lot it has a lot yeah oh that's so cool that's nice that's interesting this yeah. is my favorite piece okay yeah that's good a story told right there but uh, you know you just cannot be telling all your stories for yourself exactly. you also need to 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 raise the emotions for people mm -hmm. uh business especially should be about just fulfilling the needs of others you know you identify this gap in the market and you make sure that you come out there to offer a solution so uh in terms of emotions uh, what uh, how, how when you look at your pieces do you sort of feel like this peak to the people out there and what kinds of emotions do they raise to the masses out there so that you know i'd feel like yes i think i need to to buy this you know even without you telling me the story uh when people look at my work you see people freak out mm. so w not to, to their expectation uh, what they were expect they they were expecting they see something different mm -hmm. so they are mind blown by that they are mind blown by wow. that mm -hmm. and the smiles on their faces make me happy mm -hmm. uh due to people make me t people people tell me to stop doing art mm -hmm. i have no future in art Ooh. a lot of people mm -hmm. 
but I want to prove them wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. because the smiles on people's faces is what that's counts. my happiness. Yes, yeah. on uh, money talk because we have a segment where we talk about money. Mm -hmm. That's when we get to know you about your challenges and the lessons that you've picked out of this. Of course, we continue with you right after. Colleague talk. By the way, our colleague talk session today is interesting because then his colleague is the dad. So for the first time, at least we get someone who's uh, sort of working with their relatives. We just want to know how that feels like. You know, we've, we're used to that with Waindis. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and so, yes, we're Kiks. Kiks also sort of are trying to adopt that. But then again, they'll always teach you and tell you, no, you go. Uh, do it yourself but you're doing it with that so that's quite interesting and we need to know how far they're looking to take this because indeed it's something that is going to be big for the sake of the family right after this well uh, like i promised a whole different colleague talk experience with Edward Murada, who's the dad to Wilson. Thank you so much. We're Fanya Vizuri. Yes, thank you. I'm going to be a good person. I'm going to be a good I'm going to be a good person. I'm going to be a good person. And I'm going to be a good person. I'm going to be a ndiye akaanza kutumia akiwa mdogo mm -hmm. sasa amekuwa aki akiendelea vile na na hata mimi nafanya mm -hmm. uh, kuna wakati ndio nijue painting zangu ziko sawa nipeleke kwa gallery nilikuwa namweka pale akiwa mdogo mm -hmm. na iweka pale namwambia <laughs> angalia anaona nini wow nikaona unaona nini ananiambia naona hii naona hii naona nikaona oh kwa hivyo kama mtoto anaona mm -hmm. kwa hivyo hata hata customer ataona ata wow. na, na nikipeleka kwa market inaenda na ina hakukua na, su, na suari ah, sasa na ye amerana kutoka kwangu okay. nimemfunza na hata wakati huu mm -hmm. tunaweza fanya painting moja na yeye na uwezi jua tumechora na yeye wow kwa sababu yeah. emotions zimeshikana zikajeni hizo yeah, hata hata blast strokes uh -huh. nikifanya na yeye afanye wewe ah, jua wewe jua kuna watu wengine tu as in ni kama watu walikuwa wamepanga tu there wewe jua hata hata hii tumechora na yeye oh na wewe jua pali yake ni gani okay hata yake unaweza una angalia hivi uone uone kama wewe jua aha unaweza kaanza kama hapa mpaka nusu na kuja amalizie mpaka nusu wengine na kaanza hapa tunagawana mimi naanza huku ya naanza oh, huku really? Eh hiyo ingine naanza huku ya naanza huku. Na mnakutana katikati ndio. Eh juu unataka aelewe mambo ya ragi kabisa. Mm -hmm. Juu mimi sikupata nafasi nikuwa mdogo kama yeye. Yeah. Juu ati yangu ni ya kujitafutia. Right. It's self self taught art. Wow. Na nimezunguka sana, nimetama hiyo na Robi mm -hmm. wakati kulikuwa na magareli mingi sana. Mm -hmm. Nikaona yeye yeah, akikubali kufuata jia zangu mm -hmm. yeye yeah, hatatamaka. Mm -hmm. Eh. Ni so Nitamaka yeah, yangu na yake. Mm -hmm. Eh, yeah, so nataka aendelee hata akienda mbele zaidi. Uh -huh. Ndio furaha yangu. That's nice. You're so lucky and uh, ni kama clearly ame, amekubali kufuata wito yeah. na yeah. nafanya vizuri sana. Uh, typically of what you would say that you know it's about leaving a legacy on what you do in your line of business, in your line of passion, in basically what you do that makes the best out of you that is what is going to sort of uh, give you that name whether you're there or you're not and of course we say asante sana mnafanya kazi mzuri we can only wish you nothing but the best thank you so much for having us and once again we cross over to money talk <laughs> Well, here we are on Money Talk, Besha. We always talk money, by the way. Tell us your experience with money, first of all, the challenges that you've gone through, you know, for you and dad to just have this up and going. And I can see you also having another setup of a sort of a workshop, which is a clear indication then that you're so much into this business and it's not ending time soon. Uh, for paintings, paintings, uh, they sell at a good price, mm -hmm. but the market is not there right. so you have to create a market for yourself mm -hmm. because entering a gallery it's a bit tough because they have selections and then all that protocol and everything mm -hmm. uh, in 2017 I sold one piece a whole the year whole of 2017 a whole year MG. I sold one, one piece. piece but this year I've done I want to bring art to the people mm -hmm. so I've we've started painting t-shirts so 
t-shirts uh, t-shirts maybe 700 so, yeah. c- shillings mm. so uh small money for yeah. the local people mm. but, and they love it they wow. love the t-shirts so they carry them and mm. then it's a good business because it's it, it's growing oh it's some growing. level of wisdom right yeah, there. some yeah. people would just say okay let me die and stick to this as opposed to getting creative in, in different ways you invest so much in this i can imagine this is so much investment so when you only sell mm-hmm. one piece how does it feel like and how do you get to balance the paper so that you can still keep afloat so when i sell a piece the first thing i learned at the shop to buy paint mm-hmm. and materials and everything so i cover up for what i've sold yeah uh, so one piece is it gives you good money money enough to yeah, buy it, all that it, it brings a, l- uh, a lot of money mm-hmm. good money would you mind me asking uh-huh. what uh, this is the biggest how okay uh, this is the biggest size piece. size wise <laughs> uh-huh. how much would it go for or uh, it's a secret from 50000 onwards 50000 onwards that's yeah. good 50000 mm-hmm. onwards okay so when you sell such a piece you mm-hmm. want to create more mm. so first you bring up the materials okay and then the rest you plan mm-hmm. yeah all right so what are uh-huh. other ways that maybe money wise if you your maybe you get into a loan or do what that you've just decided let's sit down and see how we can expand our business let's do a loan let's go to a shark uh shark's let's go to the government and tap into the cdfs and all that uh the money we have decided to take a loan mm-hmm. so loans and then you pay yeah, onwards as you go. Mm-hmm. So that's how we brought in the t-shirt business. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the t-shirt business will pay the loan. Mm-hmm. So the paintings, because they take a long duration, mm-hmm. so you need to have patience, a lot of patience for these things to set, okay. because you don't have the ready market. Mm-hmm. They, it's not there. So the t-shirts, it's a ready market. Mm-hmm. We take a loan and then we continue paying with the t-shirt business. Imagine it has grown to this huge level. Mm -hmm. Do you always feel like you'll always need to be there so you can convince a client as to why this piece can be very expensive? Because sometimes you might put someone there, but it's pretty much hard for them to understand the emotions behind the the piece itself. So it becomes hard for them to convince a client as to why they have to buy such piece at a very expensive rate because uh, let's accept it mm-hmm. or face it. Not everyone is into art. So not everyone would understand how expensive a piece can be. So such clients, how do you sort of plan to deal with them in the event that it goes to that point? Uh, the piece the piece will speak for itself. Okay. The color mixing, the color inside the painting. So when you look, there are layers mm-hmm. of color. So there is blue and then you find there is another color inside the blue. Mm-hmm. And the color inside the blue, there is another color. So the work itself when you look at it it tells you Gives everything the price. yeah wow interesting what would be your one advice in terms of money uh plan okay uh, plan mm-hmm. so when you have a plan things go smoothly i can imagine things when you smoothly. sell that piece for fifty thousand and you want to cool at the fifty thousand the entire money so that means tomorrow you don't have material for the next project exactly. okay well Thank you so much. It was great having you. Thank you and for I having And I think me. that's where we see Kwaheri from. <laughs> and we're looking forward to see you some other time. And of course, I can only say all the best as you continue expounding more on this. Of course, later on, as we get to wind up, we learn some of the emotions that drove you to sort of set up some of these pieces. Yeah. That's on Money Talk, of course. Thank you. This one. Yeah. <laughs> what, what? I what named the piece. piece. This piece I named it. it co- it's called the dancing donkey. The dancing donkey. Uh, oh, so I was saying it's going to be in Gikwa Bajina. It's going to be in Gikwa Bajina. So when you were like, they were like dancing. So it's called the dancing donkey. Uh. My father's piece too. Oh, it's your dad's piece, uh, yeah, but you named it. But I named it. Okay. Yeah. Well, so a clear indication that sometimes, you know, those emotions can flow and you can uh, sort of have different different ways of just connecting your emotions together. Yes. It speaks volumes also. Amazing job, I would want to say. Thank and, you. And we're grateful that you heard us here. And of course, we must acknowledge that you're doing a great job. Thank you. I agree that there are very many people who are doing art, uh-huh. but equally yours is just out of this world. And most importantly, the fact that you focused on making a livelihood out of it. That's pretty much a good thing to say and that's typically what we all about on the millionaire's mind that every other time we're talking about you learning from what people are doing and equally just trying to get that bold step and saying that you know what 
I'll move and I'll make sure that I make the best out of what I do in life. You have seen it for yourself that you do not have to sit down and wait. You simply use what you have, right? You know, you have these hands, so what are you doing about them? You have two legs, what are you doing about them? You have two eyes, what are you doing about them? That's what really fulfills you as a human being at the end of the day. And when you get that fulfillment, it certainly nowadays translates to Besha. Thank you so much for staying tuned is always a pleasure updating you on the great millionaire minds that we have and we certainly look forward to see you next week same time same place my name is linda alela on the millionaire mind <laughs>